Hi, it's Kate from Windy Apps User Support. Today I'm doing my job in a video format. A lot of you are wondering why the forecasts are still not 100% correct with all the fancy weather satellites, radars, smart scientists and supercomputers. There are two reasons. First of all, in many areas of the world, <clears throat> weather observations are still not top-notch, which means there are still many blind spots. Secondly, we know a lot about how the atmosphere works, but not everything. This means that a five-day forecast will be true only 90% 90, 90 of the time, and for a seven-day forecast, it's only 80% of the time, at best. Even the forecast for today isn't always correct. So when our users complain that the forecast has failed and ask us to fix it, I want to say, guys, I really wish we could fix it, but it's not a bug and we totally feel your pain. But there is a solution. Before we get to it, there's one thing I need to stress. At any given moment, there are many forecasts for your area. Most forecasts you see in weather apps or weather websites come from weather forecasting models. You can think of them as raw weather forecasts, straight from a computer without any human processing. The important thing is that they give slightly different forecasts. Sometimes one model is close, closer to reality, sometimes another. By the way, if you're not sure what a weather forecasting model is, please check out our video about them. So to make one forecast, the National Weather Service, for example, would bring in a weatherman or a meteorologist into the picture so that they'll act like a chef and prepare the forecast from several raw weather forecasting models, their intuition and experience. To plan a kite session or make other weather related decisions for your outdoor activity, you'll be the chef and Windy App will be your kitchen and supply you with fresh data from weather forecasting models. Windy App has forecasts from three global models and seven regional models. They are the most accurate weather forecasting models in the world. So to cook your own forecast, you'll need to compare the forecast from all available models for the spot, pay special attention to the best model for this spot, and for today's weather, check out the data from real-time weather stations. We'll teach you how to do all of those things in parts 2, 3 and 4.